Hey, math whizzes. Welcome back to another awesome math adventure. Let's dive into something super important. Solving one-step equations. Ready to learn the secret to solving equations like a pro? Let's go. Don't worry, it's easier than you think. In fact, solving these equations is as simple as taking one step. What is a one-step equation? Okay, let's break it down. A one-step equation is an equation where you only need to perform one operation, like adding, subtracting, multiplying, or dividing to solve for a variable. That's right, just one step and you're done. What do you think the variable is in this equation? Go ahead, give it a guess. Take 10 seconds and turn to a friend or pause the video. Solving an addition equation. All right, let's solve this step by step. Here's our equation, x plus 5 equals 12. The goal is to get x all by itself. How do we do that? We need to get rid of the plus 5. What's the opposite or the inverse of adding 5. That's right. The opposite of adding 5 is subtracting 5. So, we'll subtract 5 from both sides of the equation. When we subtract 5 from both sides, we're left with x equals 7. Boom! You've just solved your first one-step equation. Turn and talk for 10 seconds. Why did we subtract from both sides? Hint, think about keeping the equation balanced. Let's try another one, but this time we're dealing with subtraction. Here's our new equation. X minus 3 equals 10. What's the opposite of subtracting 3? That's right. The opposite of subtracting 3 is adding 3. So let's add 3 to both sides of the equation. Just like that, we've got x equals 13. One step and you're done. Now, what happens if the equation involves multiplication? Let's check out this one. 4x equals 16. Here, the 4x means 4 times x, but we want x by itself. So what's the opposite of multiplying by 4? You got it! The opposite of multiplying by 4 is dividing by 4. So let's divide both sides of the equation by 4. After dividing, we get x equals 4. You're nailing this! Take 10 seconds to turn and talk or think about it. Why is dividing 
the opposite of multiplying. How do they undo each other? All right, let's wrap it up with one more type of equation, division. Here's the equation, x divided by five equals nine. So what's the opposite of dividing by five? Yep, you guessed it, multiplying by five. That gives us x equals 45. You've cracked another one-step equation like a pro. Now, let's do a quick review. For addition equations, you subtract. For subtraction, you add. For multiplication, you divide. And for division, you multiply. It's all about doing the opposite or the inverse to get that X all by itself. Easy, right? Now it's your turn to shine. I'm going to give you three one-step equations to solve. Pause the video, try them out, and come back when you're ready to see the answers. How did you do? If you got them all right, give yourself a high five. If not, no worries. Just keep practicing. Remember, with one-step equations, you do the opposite or inverse operation of whatever is being done to the variable in order to get the variable by itself. You've already taken the first step to mastering one-step equations. Keep practicing, and soon you'll be solving even bigger equations without breaking a sweat. Thanks for hanging out with me today, Math Explorers, and I'll see you next time for more math fun. Bye! Subscribe to Twinkle Teaching Resources USA for more It's Easy with Twinkle videos.